It was just wonderful to get to meet you. I had come home from a doctor's appointment where we had found out that our sweet little angel was diagnosed with trisomy 13 and to get to meet a caregiver who was going to help us through that process was just a miracle for me. And I was 18 weeks pregnant with her. That diagnosis was it was devastating uh, to find out that your little girl had this abnormality that was going to make it so she wasn't going to live a long life. You know, all those dreams and those hopes that you have to see your child ride their bike for the first time and go to school, all those things. You know, you're holding this baby in your womb and you want to see all that. And so just the transition of realizing that that wasn't going to happen, but that I also had a very, very special baby inside me. It was just amazing. So when Aubrielle, when we found out that she was sick, one of the things that my husband and I had talked about was we knew that we were going to continue with the pregnancy. And one of the things that we talked about on the drive home from finding out that Aubrielle was um, sick was we had talked about how we have choices to make through this pregnancy and that, um, that we could choose to either be happy, to allow ourselves to be happy during the pregnancy, or we could choose to not be happy. And so we went home, drove home in the car along the PCH, along the beach, and we, I just thought about that, and it really just sunk in very deep, and it was just a very um, big turning point for me. When you were working on that birth plan, were there things that were brought up that surprised you on the birth plan at all? Or was it all pretty much things that were already in your head that you were thinking, this is what I want to do, or? One of the things that was so exciting for me was I, oh, I'm gonna cry about this, but um, I really wanted to share my daughter with as many people as I could possibly share with her. And we were able to have just a room full of people um, that meant a lot to me, that could hold Aubrielle and that could enjoy her and get to see just how amazing and perfect and wonderful she is. And because that was very important to me. I didn't want to just tell every, my family members about her and what she was like when she was living. And I wanted them to be a part of the experience. But that was something that today is very special to me to look back on those pictures and to see my family members, my husband's grandmother, my mom, my dad, my siblings, my daughter, all of us just there holding her and loving her. It's hard to put it to words, what it was like to have your daughter take her last breath in your arms. You just wanted her to stay there so bad, you didn't want her to go. I was kept, kept on hoping maybe one more. Um, when uh, it was time to leave the hospital, that was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. To have to leave the hospital without your baby in your arms. Um, and when you want that baby with you so bad, um, I literally, again, had to take that minute by minute. Just like my pregnancy where I took it minute by minute, and when she was born and alive in my arms, I took that minute by minute. It was the same thing with um, leaving the hospital. And I just remember when I got in the car, I just cried. <laughs> and I allowed myself to do that. I allowed myself, just like I allowed myself to be happy, and just like I allowed myself to have the good memories and to have that pregnancy that I wanted with her, I also allowed myself just to lose it and just to cry and just to miss her because mourning is really about loving. I feel very blessed to have the hospice. Um, it empowered me to choose what I wanted to do with my, with my pregnancy, with my daughter, and also the fact that they understood my decision to carry her to term, that they loved her, that they saw her as an individual, not as a sick child. They saw her as someone who um, had um, a purpose here in life, even if it was just for a brief, short period of time, that um, they really saw her and they saw me and that they allowed us to choose um, as a family what we wanted to do.